Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. It occurs to me I might have messed up my overlay as part of that intro. Good luck. I'm doing the best I can. Um, Alright, so our opponent insists on playing something pretty aggressive here. So I'm going to try to make this confusing for both of us, not just for me. Um, I wonder, what happens if I offer a bishop exchange in this position? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's correct. They're not forced to accept this exchange. Here, the silver covers the rook's uh, corner. All right. Um, this is a bit risky. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if this is playable. I guess we're going to get an answer to that soon. Alright, so I think there's a tactical shot here, if I'm reading this correctly. That um, I can drop this, forking this rook in this pawn, and then my bishop can promote here, hitting this gold. I think both of us moved very quickly this opening, um, which makes for an exciting game, but I think we both made, perhaps, I know I made an error because I dropped a pawn, but um, maybe my error wasn't so bad. Maybe this game's not, or maybe this game is even, despite my having a really odd position here. Alright, so this rook is a nice target. Um, okay, our opponent wants to drop a bishop over here. I don't know what to do about that. My silver on 3-7 doesn't actually defend 3-7, so now it does defend the center and defends here. Um, uh, did I remember? Okay, yes, I do have my 81 dojo badge showing here. Oh, hang on. This gold is hanging the entire time. I absolutely should have taken that. And um, now I can't. I was so nervous about what my opponent was doing that I forgot that I had things I was doing too. Like threatening this gold, threatening that, trying to pursue their king. All right, so there's some challenges here. First, I'm going to seal off this diagonal toward my king. I don't really feel like exchanging everything right now. This rook blocks the pawn, the pawn blocks the knight and the silver. So I'm not in any great hurry to take anything there. Um, I want to push this pawn at a good timing. I don't know if this weakens or strengthens my position to hide the king here. 
because it's closer to the front, but not as prone to diagonal checks. Uh, that's interesting. What's the point of this move? I don't get it. Mm, they're trying to make their other pieces useful, like this knight. Nanafun. Um... So, I guess I'll chase their rook. Um... Okay, they anticipated my knight move. The other thing I'm planning is to advance this pawn, drop a pawn, try to advance my rook through this file. But I don't think that works. Hmm. Alright, I'll take this. That weakens my castle to take it, but the trade-off is that uh, their attack is a move slower. Okay. I don't think this works the way they think it does. Oh, hang on. There's a fork now right there. I can't just allow the fork to happen. Um, Alright, let's go back. So we're still threatening to take the silver. If the silver moves, we're still threatening to push this pawn. If they move something blocking their rook, I could still take here. But also this rook is surrounded, so... Um, either there's some amazing tactic that I'm missing here, or this is just very good for me. But what could the tactic be? Their entire back rank is exposed. I'm still threatening to push this pawn. Alright, that's a check. Um, I have two pawns and well, at least two. If I block, they could drop a knight, but that doesn't change anything fundamentally. My bishop's already escaped, so this is fine. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, this is curious. I don't think they did that on purpose, but uh, they cut off the only escape for their bishop. So now I collect a bishop for free. Um, that's rough. Then we attack this knight. Hmm. I guess we'll take it. I'll take that. So they have a knight to drop anywhere. So if I'm careless, this could be a problem for me. If I'm careful, hopefully the knight drop won't present much of an issue. Okay, they have run out of material. Their knights are not coordinated here. 
Oh, I could have dropped a bishop to take this knight. It was not necessary for me to do that, however, so I'll just keep taking stuff. Um, let's just go back. Um, yeah, we'll just keep retreating. They could do this fork and force some pieces to exchange. That's not a fork, however. So now the silver's pointing at the king. The bishop might join in pointing there. Okay, let's remove that. Um, let's check. Thanks for the game. All right, let's keep playing. Good luck. So they've built a compact shape over here. I might build a high castle. I don't know. But my rook is pointing here that in a direction that they've defended. Um, hmm. Oh, if I pushed here, maybe that would have been the right thing to do. <sighs> um, okay, I could still push here, but then they could drop a pawn. Welcome.
Hmm, maybe I needed to move the rook first. Or drop the bishop back first. I don't know. Um... So if this bishop moves, this pawn drops. Whoa. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm playing too impulsively. In case that's not obvious. I thought I had that covered. I thought I had that covered. Two down, one to go. Oh, I'm sorry, we've already played this many games. No, that's fine. Um, yes, apparently the third game I played yesterday ran over the daily timer, so I only get to play two games uh, this morning. Thanks. Actually, yeah, I it was super sharp. I'm not fully convinced that I did everything right there, but I did a number of things in an interesting way. So, I know I normally don't fit some game analysis into the video, but this uh, went so quickly. Uh, let's uh, uh, take a short look at some of this. So, no, I think normally I'm supposed to move the silver first, and then, um, yeah, I don't necessarily want to block this diagonal. I'm playing as Gota here. Um, so that's, so far this is, okay, this center pawn here takes some territory, but I think better is pushing, well, it always makes me nervous when this rook lines up on the third file. It's complicated. I've had opponents play this pawn up, silver up, silver up, pawn up, silver takes and threaten to take here. Uh, and I guess this threat packs more of a punch as long as this gold still stays back here. So I'll have to take a closer look at some of oh, didn't do that right. I'll have to take a closer look at some of that opening strategy. And then I built just a really heavy castle. Um, made sure the bishop doesn't activate this way, but uh, in so doing, um, I spent one too many moves building up an attack here. They had a chance to dodge my attack. This gold move is pretty... I think this is nervous of them. The gold normally moves up here, uh, but only once I've attacked this here. So, like, they're trying to defend and prevent me from attacking altogether. And so I sack a pawn. Um, and then here, I mentioned during the game that uh, perhaps I need to, like, move the rook over here. And 
maybe then my attack has a better chance of breaking through. Or bring the bishop back. This would have been a fantastic opportunity now that they've moved their bishop. I was nervous about moving mine, so... Yeah, there's a lot of things for me to learn from this game. Uh, despite it being such a quick game, and decided through some rather cheap tactics. Um, it's just how... Uh, I saw this coming moves in advance, and so I had this prepared all the way from back here where I did gold takes. If I did bishop takes, we would have had a fork with my gold and rook so far apart. I guess with the gold here, I could still play the rook really close to my king. Maybe I could have survived that, but um, yeah, so I'd seen this bishop drop from way back there when I took on this square. Uh, but also, yeah, some of these pawn exchanges, like, this is probably an opportunity for me to hit the bishop directly and then take a pawn for free. Or hit the bishop, they take, I take a bishop, they take my gold, I take back, and some fork happens somewhere. Forks always happen, but here, seemingly, I'm set to kick the bishop at a moment's notice. So a lot of stuff happened these games. I could play better, but um, I think we played okay. Hope we enjoyed these. Thanks for watching.